Listen carefully. The world has been lying to you since the moment you were born. They've sold you a false reality. One where solitude is painted as something to fear, something to avoid at all costs. They tell you that you need others, that you need validation, that you need constant connection to feel whole. But here's the truth. No one wants to admit. Solitude isn't a curse. It's the sharpest weapon you'll ever hold. And if you can wield it, it will make you unstoppable. Most people are terrified of being alone. They fear the silence, the stillness, the absence of distraction. They fear what they'll find lurking in the quiet corners of their mind. But not you. You don't run from the darkness. You embrace it. Because you know that in that darkness, you're forced to confront the one thing that most people are too afraid to face. Themselves. Alone, you can no longer hide behind excuses, behind others, behind the noise. It's just you, stripped down to your core, staring into the abyss of your own soul. And that's where the real battle begins. People surround themselves with distractions for a reason. They drown out their own thoughts, fill their time with noise and chaos, because they're too weak to face the truth of who they are. They can't handle the weight of their own existence. But here's what they don't understand. The darkness they fear is the very crucible that forges greatness. If you have the courage to sit in that silence, to face the demons that rise to the surface, you will discover a power that no one else can touch. In solitude, you learn the truth about yourself. There are no more masks, no more lies, no one else to blame. Every failure, every insecurity, every dark thought comes crashing down on you, unfiltered and raw. And here's the kicker. Those dark thoughts, those demons that you've been running from your entire life, they're not here to destroy you. They're here to test you, to challenge you, to make you stronger. The pain, the doubt, the fear, they're all part of the process. And if you face them head on, you will emerge from that darkness, something far more powerful than you ever imagined. Most people are weak because they've never been truly alone. They've never had to sit with their pain, their flaws, their failures, without the comfort of others to distract them. They've never had to face the brutal reality of their own limitations. But in solitude, there's no one to coddle you, no one to sugarcoat the truth. You're forced to deal with the harsh reality of who you are, and that's where true strength is born. Because once you confront your own darkness, once you stand face to face with your deepest fears and refuse to back down, you become something unbreakable. Let me tell you this. The world will never understand the power of solitude. They'll never understand the kind of clarity that comes from facing yourself, your thoughts, your weaknesses, without the safety net of others to fall back on. But you, you will. You will understand that solitude is not a punishment. It's a gift. It's where you sharpen your mind, harden your resolve, and become the weapon you need to be to conquer anything that stands in your way. When you're alone, there's no one to rely on but yourself. And that's terrifying, isn't it? It's a weight that most people can't bear. But that weight is also your greatest freedom. Because when you stand alone, when you take full responsibility for your life, your choices, your actions, you realize something powerful. There are no limits. No one can hold you back. No one can tell you what's possible or impossible. You become the master of your fate, the architect of your own destiny. In solitude, you become your own hero. You become the person who picks yourself up when you fall, the person who pushes through the pain, the doubt, the fear. And here's the truth most people will never accept. The only person you need to succeed is the one staring back at you in the mirror. When you've learned to rely on yourself, to trust in your own strength, no one else's opinion, no one else's validation can touch you. You are
are free in a way that most people can't even comprehend. The battle isn't out there in the world. The real battle is in your mind. It's in the dark, lonely nights, when the doubts creep in, when the fear starts to whisper in your ear. And in those moments, you will either rise or you will fall. But here's the thing. If you've spent enough time alone, if you've faced your demons, there's nothing the world can throw at you that will break you. You've already fought the hardest battles in the silence of your own mind. Everything else is just noise. You see, solitude doesn't weaken you. It sharpens you. It strips away the distractions, the lies, the excuses, until all that's left is the raw, unfiltered truth. And in that truth, you find your strength. You find the part of you that is unbreakable, the part of you that can endure any hardship, any challenge, because you've already faced worse in the silence of your own mind. People will tell you that you need others to succeed, that you need a team, a tribe, a support system to lift you up. But here's the truth. Most people lean on others because they're too weak to stand on their own. They rely on the opinions, the validation, the comfort of others because they're too scared to face their own weaknesses. But not you. You don't need the noise. You don't need the validation. You thrive in the darkness, in the silence, because that's where the real work happens. In solitude, you are free. Free from the expectations of others. Free from the noise. Free from the limits that society tries to place on you. And that freedom, it's terrifying. But it's also the key to unlocking a power that no one else can touch. When you're alone, you realize that the only thing standing between you and greatness is you. And once you understand that, once you take full ownership of your life, there's nothing that can stop you. So embrace the darkness. Seek out the solitude. Because in the end, it's just you versus you. And when you win that battle, when you conquer the doubts, the fears, the limitations you've placed on yourself, you will emerge from that darkness unstoppable. The world won't know what hit it. Because while they were busy chasing comfort, you were forging yourself into something unbreakable. While they were seeking validation, you were mastering the art of being alone. And now, now you're ready to show the world just what happens when someone embraces their solitude, embraces their darkness, and turns it into a source of unrelenting strength. This is your time. This is your moment. And no one, not a single soul, can take that from you. Because in the end, you face the worst of it. You faced yourself. And now, now, you're unstoppable.